Hey guys, Flynn Cohen here. Got my electric guitar and I have come to teach you about how to play natural harmonics and the harmonic series or the overtone series on the electric guitar. So, um, to start out with, um, for those people who've never played natural harmonics before, I'll just give a quick intro and then I'll get on to the um, juicier part of the demonstration. So, uh, I'm plugged into an amplifier and I have distortion on the amp now, so that gives us extra sustain uh, and makes it easier for us to hear the, um, the harmonics. So the overtone series, I'm not gonna go into the theory of it. This is just more for uh, a practical approach to playing the notes that we hear as overtones in a string. Um, and we refer to them as natural harmonics when we're playing them uh, on the guitar like so. So you lightly touch your finger on the string. Some of you may know how to do that already, uh, but if you don't, quick demonstration. Lightly touch your fingers. So like, let's pretend you were like gonna play a chord. Uh, and you push your fingers down and then you lift them up there. Hear how you're muting the strings like that? It's about that kind of feel, that kind of pressure. You're not really putting any pressure down. You're just resting your fingers on the strings. So let's just try this here at the 12th fret where the double dots are. Um, I think it's easiest to use middle finger probably. Uh, of your left hand, just lightly touch your middle finger to the 12th fret and it off and it just rings on its own. And at that same place, which is halfway uh, between the nut and the bridge, um, at the 12th fret there, you can get that natural harmonic on all the strings. Likewise, you can get uh, a different harmonic at the 7th fret and at the 5th fret and also at the 4th fret. Now those are the most common ones <clears throat> and I'm just going to review that real quick and I'm going to give you a system for uh, knowing where you are and keeping track of them. I'm also going to use musical interval terminology to go along with it. So we have a numbering system for the harmonics. The open string is harmonic number one. The 12th fret harmonic, which is the octave above that, uh, is harmonic number two. So harmonic number one, open string. Second harmonic, 12th fret. Uh, third harmonic is at the seventh fret. perfect fifth above the 12th fret one and this one here at the fifth fret is the octave above the 12th fret one so we have one two three four so far and uh the next uh, actually the last sort of more conventional one um here is the one that plays the major third uh above the fifth fret one, which is the fourth fret. And you can also play that at the ninth fret. Um, and in fact, most of these harmonics, with the exception of the second, first and second harmonics, have multiple places where you can play the same note on the string. But in terms of just learning it, it's easier to play them over particular places on the fretboard when uh, you can have a fret uh, indicating where to put your finger. Um, so, first harmonic, second harmonic at the 12th fret, third harmonic at the 7th fret, fourth harmonic at the 5th fret, fifth harmonic at the 4th fret. Now, uh, the, those harmonics there are ones that fit with the system of music that we use in the West, and um, uh, that match pretty accurately to the notes we get with the frets. But uh, the cool thing about the overtone series is the higher you go, the more uh, quirky microtonal notes you come upon. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration here. <laughs> Uh, 
there's a couple in there that uh, are going to sound pretty wacky to some people, which I will show you how to play now. So, uh, after the fifth harmonic is the sixth harmonic. And the sixth harmonic is an octave above the third harmonic. So the third harmonic is at the seventh fret. And the sixth harmonic is at the third fret. Now, the next one after that is the first... Um, a real serious microtonal harmonic that we get in the overtone series, which is the seventh harmonic. So the uh, musical interval that we're playing between the seventh harmonic and the sixth harmonic uh, kind of sounds like a minor third. Um, notes on the guitar. It would sound like that. But if you listen, you'll hear uh, that higher note is about 30 cents flat, or about a third of a half step uh, from this one. And that harmonic there, the seventh harmonic, is uh, literally about a third of the way between the um, this is the third fret and the second fret here. And then the next one after that is the eighth harmonic. Right there. So seven, eight. And the eighth harmonic is about a finger length. <laughs> about a quarter of the way uh, uh, above the second fret here. And that is the octave above the... Um, the fourth harmonic. And the fourth harmonic is an octave above the second, which is an octave above the open string. So, so far we have one open string, two, twelfth fret, three, seventh fret, four, fifth fret, fifth harmonic at the fourth fret, the sixth harmonic, which is at the third fret, seventh harmonic, which is sort of in between the uh, second and third, closer to the third fret. The eighth harmonic, which is also between second and third frets, but it's closer to the second. So that's six, seven, eight. The next one is the ninth harmonic, which is uh, a major second above the eighth harmonic. harmonic is right, pretty much right above the second fret. And then after that is the tenth harmonic, which is an octave above the fifth harmonic. And that tenth harmonic is about a finger length uh, past the second fret on the way to the first fret. So that's your fifth harmonic at the fourth fret, which is the major third. There. And then the last one I'm going to teach you, is, which is the eleventh harmonic, is also a uh, pretty gnarly micro interval, and it's a, about a quarter tone between um, the perfect fourth and the augmented fourth. There it is. Um, so that's how you play first through 11th harmonics following the fretboard here, but some of them it can get sounding better when you play them up on the highest part of the string here um, between the 12th fret and the, um, the bridge. I'll demonstrate in a sec. So just to review so far, open string is the first harmonic, 12th fret is the second harmonic, Fourth harmonic is at the 
fourth fret, sixth harmonic at the third fret, and then we go seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. Take some time to get that one. And I'm using my middle finger for these. The other stuff I'm doing with my other fingers, by the way, is I'm muting my other strings so that they don't start vibrating and making more noise. So let's go the other direction here. So you can hear, we get them in some ways a little bit clearer up here, but it's a lot harder to execute unless you practice. And so I have this technique where I rest um, my ring finger and pinky uh, across the strings I'm not playing. And it's very similar to um, when cellists play in very high positions, high up on their fingerboard. Uh, so let's just... series from the first to the 11th harmonics on the electric guitar that's just on E as your fundamental tone or your um, your root note uh, for that one particular overtone series and every string has its own overtone series but the reason I use the E string is because we get the harmonics coming through the most clearly on the uh, larger and lower strings all right, there you have it. Hope that was enlightening. Um, once you get that down, maybe you can start making some melodies up there. See you next time.